Hello everyone, right this isn't a sky glass uh, review, you know, me moaning about sky glass. This is about uh, doing recordings on uh, YouTube and which cameras are really good and which ones are a bit rubbish and uh, what I use. So give me a second, let me just pause you just for a second. There we go, just needed to put a bit of light on because I didn't put the uh, studio light on. Um, so, what I have found over, you know, the years that I've been doing this, action cameras, not particularly brilliant for YouTube videos unless you've got lots and lots of light, um, and they do tend to uh, overheat, <laughs> um, um, and sometimes you lose footage, especially with GoPros. Now, I've got a GoPro 7, and it's, at the moment, it's really playing up. I'm going to have to reset it or something. I really don't know what's the matter with it. It just keeps stopping recording, and the cat is scratching its stuff um that not great um insta 360 yes if you've got a lot of light it's a really good camera to use because you can have a view on your face and then a view on the actual product or you can have a view on the product um in the single camera mode or a view on the product with 360 mode and then you can just move it around as you need um when you come to edit it in uh the 360 insta suite which is good it's probably better to edit it on a computer a pc because you'll get a higher bit rate and you'll get a better compression it just looks nicer um i've tried using a micro four thirds camera which um, what was it panasonic i think it was they don't like focusing. They're not very good unless you set focus and you stay where you are. Not like me now where I'm moving around. I move around quite a bit in my videos. Um, which does just doesn't work. Then what did I try? The Sony A7 and I've got a Sony A7S. Um, yeah, they work. The A7S is probably going to be better because it's a bigger, it's, it's got bigger pixels. I know it's less megapixels. But you've got the bigger pixels, picks up the light, so you get more definition, you'll get more bit rate out of it. And um, most of them, the older ones, you have to hook up an external source to record 4K. But the 1080 that comes out of those cameras is phenomenal, especially the S, the A7S, the, the, uh, the 1080 is so nice. It's so close to 4K. It looks beautiful. Um, and then what did I go on to? I was using my iPhone 13 Pro Max, which records in 422442 ProRes. I can't remember. It's, it records in ProRes, which is really good. You can get some good sort of uh, video out of it. Oh, I'm getting reflection off this screen. What's it? What's he got on behind me? Um, absolutely fantastic. But, I mean, mine's a 512 um, version, so it's uh, one of the higher memory size it's not the one terabyte because that's really expensive so the 512 and it absolutely chews through the memory so it's almost if you're going to do long form or a longer form video um, it's not really the thing to use because unless you're using that ProRes you don't get a very good um, image on video at all you know camera for taking photos yeah it's a point and shoot it's nothing like a proper uh, mirrorless or digital SLR you'll never get that because the sensors can't be big enough um, but for video it's okay to start with if, if this you know it's a good start thing if, if that's what you've got use that absolutely fine no problem at all then I moved on to the Sony ZV-E1 the cat's trying to get out the patio door even though it's shut um, yes the Sony ZV-E1 absolutely fantastic brilliant brilliant little camera with the kit lens if you've got enough room it, it, it does product showcase, it keeps you focused, it's perfect for, without spending a, a shitload of money, if you're going to like setting up, every, you know, all the time, or you've got something set up, it's good for a webcam as well, or if you do um, sort of streaming with uh, online uh, games, gaming online games, you know, it's, it's, it's really good for that, because you could flick over from your expressions, or you can have a picture in picture, it does loads of stuff, it's really, really good for for doing that it's no good for walking around vlogging because it's got um a rolling a rolling shutter issue so things are look wobbly because when you're rolling around vlogging you're going to be moving so things aren't going to look great um so i mean this isn't what i was going to do the zve one was going to be the main camera all the time i haven't used it for a long time actually which is naughty naughty me only because i'm lazy and i can't be bothered to set it up um but on bigger videos longer videos i will i will use it more um 
but what I'm using now is the, Z, the uh, Samsung Galaxy um, Z Flip 5. Amazing. I've got it folded down at the moment. I've got it tilted on its side so it rotates and does uh, what I want in 4K. And it's got HDR plus. Is it plus or plus 10? I can't. Or HDR 10 plus. Something like that. I don't know. But it's. As you can see, looks fantastic. Even slight, even in slightly lower light. Um, when you edit it, I use a lot of the editing stuff on my phone. Um, sometimes I will use CapCut, which is really good. And I do have another one on my mobile. But the CapCut on the PC or, or on a Mac is far better than on your phone. Any of the editing softwares always will be. Um, they, they're just they're brilliant. But... This Z Flip, I just use it all the time because it's easy just to pick up, do a quick video like I'm doing now. I've only just got home from work and I thought, you know, I'd let you know what I use. And the Z Flip 5, because it folds up, you can hold it in your hand. Um, it And you can see yourself in the back screen. It's absolutely fantastic. And you're using the main cameras as well. So if you're using another Samsung phone, the, uh, oh, I don't know what they're on now, 23 Ultra, which I did have you'd have to flip it around, you wouldn't be able to see yourself. So even though if you're using the wide camera, you would know that you are in the picture, but you wouldn't really know much else. If you're using the the, the inside camera, the screen camera, it's not going to be very good quality. You're not going to get the same sort of quality as what I'm getting now. Now, this is the best phone camera for video that I've found ever. It's, I thought the iPhone 13 was good. I know the iPhone 15 is good as well, but it's going to have the same issue. You've got to shoot in the ProRes and you it just chews up the storage space so absolutely no good but this little thing ah, oh, oh, it's i've only got it's only a 256 memory in this and i very rarely fill it up and then i just delete the videos but for if you're starting if you can afford it or if you've got one oh email <laughs> no it's not an email that comes through on my little uh clock thing that i've done a review about it's absolutely fantastic it gives you text it's really cool um anyway i'm waffling again about something else but if you start with a z flip 5 you're gonna have fantastic looking videos absolutely brilliant in studio um have i used it outside i'm not sure i think i have and i think i was pretty impressed with the video quality there and so yeah i mean i've got a fuji which i might try um but i'm gonna have to set focus on that because apparently they they're not brilliant for focusing either but you got film simulations on that bad boy. So anyway, thanks for watching. And like I say, you know, like, subscribe, tell your mates, whatever. Thank you very much.